In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 4, verses 1 through to 11. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, afterwards he was hungry. Now when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him up into the holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple. And he said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you, and in their hands they shall bear you up lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, It is written again, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Again the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, All these things I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. Glory. To you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us during this Lenten fast when temptations come. We are in great Lent. We are fasting. We are becoming weaker because of the amount of food that we now partake in. And of course, the weakness then, like Jesus was after 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry too. The tempter, the devil came then to torment him. This is something we must be prepared for too. During our fasting to be tempted by Satan. As we fast, remember one important thing. Never ever fast from the word of God. From the spiritual food. We may partake of fasting and other foods, not taking them I should say. But never, ever stop reading the scriptures, the spiritual books that you can read, by going to church at every opportunity that you have. Spiritual fasting during the Great Lent is a big no-no. We read here how Jesus, after 40 days and 40 nights, became weak. Satan thought that I now had an opportunity. But Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God, knows the Scriptures. 
And he came, Satan came to him and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. So I'm quite sure Jesus was, he would have loved to have. But Jesus' reply was, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. The scriptures. Yes. This is the food for our souls. This is the food that we never fast from. Quite the opposite, actually. During fasting, we should increase our spiritual food. Because we are going to be attacked just like Jesus was by Satan. And then once again, we see another temptation that Jesus was given. Took him into the holy center and up onto the pinnacle of the temple. And he said, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written, he shall give his angels charge over you. And in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. But Jesus then in reply from Scripture, It is written again, You shall not be tempted, the, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. Then the devil took him to another occasion, up on a high mountain, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world. And he said to Jesus, All these things I will give you if you fall down and worship me. And in reply, Jesus said, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. And of course the devil then, once again was defeated and left. This is what we need to focus in on during this great fast, this Lenten fast. Focus in on the scriptures. Learn as much as you can. Understanding the teachings of God, the teachings of God through Jesus Christ. We are going to be attacked time and time again as we soldier on during this great fast. The devil will try us when we are weak. He will send so many interferences into our lives to get us to break the great fast. We, we are human. And we will fall, yes, we will, not just once or twice, many times. Some may even find it so difficult, not to the very end, as we go into Holy Week, but they will start fasting. It is a time to repent. When we fall down, we get back up again and continue on. You break the fast today, tomorrow, you start afresh. Yes, afresh. Start again. Never ever give up. No matter how many times you break the fast. God is with you. The Holy Spirit is there to help you, to guide you. Feed your soul with the Word of God. Fast from the other things of the earth, the food, the television whatever else there are the temptations of this world yes yes never fast from spiritual food and every day when you pray give god the glory for the strength that you receive every day and when you fall Ask for forgiveness. Start afresh. Every day give God the glory. 
for the many blessings you receive. Glory to God for all things. May the blessing of Almighty God, Father, the Son, and with the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.